Today I'm going to build a snowman outside, even though it's July and warm enough for me to go in my parents' pool. I should probably take this mic off. This was expensive. Keep it rolling. This is going to be cool. Keep it rolling. So it was just Amazon Prime Day a couple days ago and <laughs> Sam and I went a little overboard. These are only two of the many boxes that we ordered for this week. This is a brand new TV. Our old one was about to break, so we got a nice new Sony one. This box, I'm not exactly sure what's in this one, but we're about to find out. This thing's heavy. Whew. Okay, I have no idea what this is, but they sent me like an entire box of packing peanuts. I gotta do something cool with that later. Oh! So if you guys remember last week's video when I got like the ice cream that looked like fried chicken, I also ordered french fries that aren't actually french fries. I think they finally came in. Oh, there actually is something in here. Oh. Okay, so these are actually cookies that are supposed to look just like french fries and it came with like chocolate and caramel to be like ketchup. I gotta try one of these. Actually, what good would a french fry be without chicken nuggets? <sighs> Alright, so lunch is ready. We've got chicken nuggets and actual ketchup. And then we've got cookie fries and chocolate. Mm, this is really good. It's like a sugar cookie. What good is a french fry without ketchup? Oh, this is gonna be gross. Oh, that's horrible. Everybody loves chocolate sauce on their chicken nuggets. Oh. Mint chocolate chip. This is kind of interesting for a fry. I think this might be my favorite one so far. I mean, it doesn't look anything like french fries, but this one tastes really good. Fat glob. Have you guys ever seen that dentist guy on YouTube? Fat glob. I love this marshmallow sauce. This stuff is delicious. Oh, that went all over the place. Shout out cookie joint. Good job at making uh, fry shaped cookies. Cookie shaped. I mean, this is getting ridiculous. Guys, I take one week off of mail time last week and you guys send me like a hundred letters, but actually thank you guys so much for sending this stuff. It's really fun to open. I'm gonna open all of these right now and I'll feature kind of like the best or the funniest ones. Also, I'm kind of afraid to tell you guys the address again because I think my PO box is gonna explode. But if you guys wanna get into mail time, this is the address right here. All right, let's open our first letter. Okay, we've got a drawing of SpongeBob, which I accidentally just ripped the corner. I'm sorry about that. Really good drawing. Maybe it's a million dollars. Don't send me a million dollars through the mail, guys. Now, if you want to Venmo me a million dollars. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, it's a birthday card. Oh, that is so thoughtful. Look at this. Okay, he drew like a little TFG and then drew my face. This is actually really good. Brody, you made it up on the wall, my friend. Whoa, they sent me a Pokemon card. That is so awesome. I'm gonna add this to my collection. Oh, it's a bracelet. I will put this on right now, Vance. And a sticker. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, there's a link in the description below. Go follow me. I put out really funny videos that I don't put anywhere else. Hey, somebody else sent me a Pokemon card too. This is a Pikachu. Somebody printed out a picture of my face and, <laughs> and put a mustache and marker on it. Okay, this one says it's from my family. I, I, I think maybe my parents wanted to get onto mail time. When I was in fourth grade, I was in like the school play and my mom found a picture of, this is, this is like 10 year old me. I don't know if you guys can see. I feel like she could have just given it to me when I saw her like, a day ago. Dear Brandon, you should play Fortnite. That, that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for sending this stuff. Again, I read every single one of the letters. Sorry, not all of them could get onto mail time.
right, so after all that, we took the old TV down, and the new TV doesn't fit on the stand we have. Let me show you real quick. So this is the stand that we used to have. I thought they were standard. I just kind of thought all TVs were able to fit on this thing. Well, this one has got super wide screws. Well, that took about 30 minutes to take the old TV down, put the new one up, take the new one back down, and put the old TV back up. Now I have to go on Amazon and buy a new stand. So I mentioned earlier that I'm gonna be getting a ton of packages from Amazon Prime Day, and I also mentioned I'm gonna be making snow in July. Well, this is kind of two of them coming together. Introducing my brand new Ninja Blender. It's, um, I, I don't know, it's the cheapest Ninja Blender that they had, but apparently it's really powerful. Look at the box here. According to the box, it says, turns ice into snow in seconds. Start, okay, um, uh, how do I turn this off? Looks like it works. I do not think this is gonna be enough ice for a snowman. Plus I need like a carrot for a nose. I need some coal for the eyes. I need to go to the grocery store and get some stuff. All right, I think I have everything I need for a snowman. I actually already had charcoal at my house. I just thought it fit the vlog better if I picked it up at the grocery store. Like snow actually. Hey, you know what? This might actually work. All right, so I made all of the ice I have into snow. This might be a smaller snowman than I was expecting. All right, so if you guys saw the vlog like five or six months ago when we got a ton of snow, this is the spot where I made the snowman. So I feel like that's a good spot to make the snowman in July. It's also 93 degrees outside today. Oh no. Oh no, this is a failure. I feel like I should go to the grocery store and get baby carrots. So I kind of made a uh, snowman in July. Are you proud? <clears throat> Did it look cool? Was I supposed to be filming that? 